Hi guys, Steve Girardi here. Welcome to Steve Strings. Today I have another review video for you. Today we'll be looking at the Donner DJC 1000S electric guitar. Now this instrument, as you can see, um, is sort of a Telecaster-esque instrument, but unlike a typical Telecaster that has two single coils, this instrument, as you can see, has two humbuckers. So before we dive into this instrument and go over the tails, let me quickly go over what comes with this instrument. To start with, this instrument comes with an, an Allen wrench in order to adjust the truss rod. It also comes with a, a cable to plug into, and it's a 10 foot cable, to plug into an amplifier. It also comes with a black Donner branded shoulder strap. This instrument also comes with a gig bag. As you can see here, it is a Donner branded gig bag. It is this sort of canvas or Cordura type material. Um, and uh, it does have a pocket here on the front, which uh, is quite wide. Doesn't bellow very much, but you can certainly get a cable or a capo and you can get some music in there. Uh, this bag is probably 10 millimeters worth of padding. It has two uh, straps to carry it with as well as two shoulder straps as well. So it's a good basic gig bag. It'll certainly get the job done. Also, before we dive into the instrument, I should say that this instrument, when it comes, it comes with this little tag hanging on it with the Donner label and some basic guitar chords, as well as a string action guide. So if you want to check out string action, you can do it with that. I did check out string action on this, and I used my little guide here, and I see that the string action at the 12th fret is, uh, one, is point, uh, zero one one inches or 2.5 millimeters at the 12th fret. So the action uh, is a good height, very playable height on this. Let's go ahead and look at some of the details of this instrument. Let's start off here with the headstock. And right off the bat, you can probably see from the gloss on this that this instrument is high gloss all over. This has the typical Donner branded headstock, which is sort of Stratocaster-esque, with that little sort of hook on the end of it. It does have the Donner logo there, which looks like it is uh, like a silk screen on there, and then it is uh, finished over that, so it has a finish over that. You can also see it has some generic type of uh, tuning machines here. Nothing fancy going on, but basic tuning machines. You can also see from the color of the, of the neck of this instrument that it is a maple neck. And the nomenclature on Donner's website describes this as triple A maple. Uh, you can also see from the back of it that it has a skunk stripe going down the back of it. And from the look of this, this looks to be uh, like mahogany or some type of wood like that. You may also be able to see here that it has a Donner um, branded uh, plate on the, on the neck. And you can also see it has a high gloss body with that sort of sunburst finish going on. Right. This instrument does have position markers here on the, on the neck in a good contrasting color and also on the player's side. And I should say that there are absolutely no sharp fret edges. I cannot even feel the frets. They go up to the edge and actually stop just shy of the edge but this is very, very playable, no sharp frets. The body of this instrument is described in the nomenclature as um, African basswood. Um, from looking at it, um, there is not really much of a grain to it. I'll try to put this up close so you can see it. There is a little bit of a grain, but not a lot. It's basically a fairly pale kind of a wood, which certainly serves it well for this um, sunburst type finish they have sprayed on. Now, I've looked at this instrument all over, and I have found no pooling of finish anywhere, no scratches in the neck or in the body. Um, basically, it is surprisingly a flawless finish. I mean, at the price point of this instrument, you have to expect to find something wrong with the finish. But from looking at this, I could not find anything wrong with this finish. It's a beautiful finish. As I mentioned, this instrument is not a completely solid body. It's a semi-hollow semi body. So you can see here from that sound hole that, uh, that part of this body is in fact hollow. Now, this is described as a thin line like a jazz guitar. 
Unlike the typical Telecaster, as I said, you can see it has these double humbuckers. It also has the string through the body design here. You can see the strings go through there and come out the tailpiece. And this is like a hard tail type of bridge. So the strings go through the bridge, over the saddles, and then down to the end. Now I tuned this up, and other than that, I've done no other setup on this. And um, almost every string was intonated correctly at the 12th fret. So it's plain that they, they paid some attention to actually trying to get the intonation right. And I'll show you the bridges there. They're not just a straight line. Somebody took some time and attention to try to intonate that. And again, it's very, very close. So this instrument comes with two humbuckers. It comes with a typical three-way switch like you would see on a, a, a typical Telecaster. So when the switch is forward, it's the um, neck humbucker. In the center, it's both humbuckers. And when it's all the way to the rear, it is only the bridge humbucker. It also has a volume and a tone knob. You can see here it has a white pit guard that covers uh, you know, the, all the part of the body you would want it to all the way down through to the volume and tone knobs. This instrument also comes with a strap button here at the heel and also here on the upper bout, which is also typical of most uh, Telecaster style instruments. I mentioned that this instrument is a high gloss finish all over, including on the neck. Now I know some people prefer more of a satin finish on the neck. Now some people will go and, and do that afterward. But this does have a gloss finish on the neck. And I should say that I can feel that, that it's uh, a, a little bit sticky. I'm here in South Texas right now where it's warm and right now pretty humid. And so my palms are always a little, a little sweaty. So they do stick there a little bit. Just checking it out. So right now I have this plugged into my sort of basic Ibanez amp back here. And I can show you the settings that I'm using in a picture here. So right now I have this plugged in with a wireless guitar system, you can see here. So let me go ahead and, uh, and play this a little bit. And I should preface this by saying that I am a novice guitar player, so do not expect any uh, high-end music out of me. Again, so I am uh, looking at this instrument through the lens of a novice guitar player and giving my perceptions of it based upon that. That was done here with the selector switch all the way back for the uh, the bridge uh, humbucker. Right? Let's go ahead and listen to some different sounds of this uh, so you can get a sense of it. I'll go ahead and start with this with a switch all the way forward. And again, this is um, so it's just the front uh, humbucker picking up. Middle position. And all the way back for the bridge. So bridge is much brighter than the neck. So if you're looking for some different sounds, you can certainly get it with this. And we'll look at the volume. It's all the way up here right now. And we'll adjust the tone. You can see that changes the sound. And you can really tell the difference in tone there in that bridge position. That's all the way down and all the way up. So in spite of the fact there's just two humbuckers 
and a three-way switch, you can get a lot of different sounds out of this. So this is kind of fun. to the all the way forward. Now from that, you may have heard some buzzing. That's me, that's my poor technique. Um, I checked the, the, uh, the strings, all the strings up and down the neck, and I found no fret buzzing anywhere. So this thing, as I said, is at least this particular case is set up out of the box, uh, essentially after tuning, ready to play. Did not require any specific other setup action. So what's my impression of this? Uh, my impression of this is this is a nice guitar. Uh, I have the Donner uh, uh, sort of Stratocaster styled guitar as well, which is also in Sunburst. So they have certain similarities in appearance. But I'll tell you right now, I already prefer the sound of this one here. Um, and just the, the point that it has two humbuckers and the different kinds of tones I get from that. The both of them are nice guitars. And both of them also had essentially flawless, flawless finishes. So if you're looking for sort of an entry-level guitar with some uh, decent quality build, with some good looks, uh, this is certainly one to look at. With the double humbuckers and the three-way selector switch, you can get a lot of different sounds out of this. So you can play you know, more than one certainly genre of music. And certainly uh, uh, this, I imagine, would certainly handle jazz very well. It can handle country very well. It can handle rock and roll, rock and roll very well. So overall, I would say I have a very positive opinion of this uh, DJ or yeah DJC 1000S by Donner. If you're looking for a Telecaster style guitar, check it out. I hope you found today's review video helpful. If you have, please give a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of the instruments that I review as well as instruments that I build. Please subscribe. I would love to have you see more of the videos that I do. Thanks for watching.